Since the conflict in Libya began in February, thousands of Libyan families have fled into Tunisia to seek refuge. The UN High Commission for Refugees have recorded a daily average of 2,000 refugees entering Tunisia. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres, paid a three-day visit to Tunisia and visited the camps near the Tunisian-Libyan border to draw the international attention to the refugee dilemma. Tens of thousands of Libyans are with host families. Uh, of course, uh, where we were yesterday, it's a transit center of people that they are not Libyans. They came, they want to go to their countries of origin. And for those like the Somalis that have uh, no way to go back to the country of origin, we are working hard with several resettlement countries, trying to provide an opportunity for them to be resettled uh, in another country in the developed world in order to be able to start a new life. Antonio Guterres also visited camps near the Rasijdir and Heba border crossings and also met refugee families in the Ramada camp. Earlier in his visit, he had met with Tunisian ministers to sign an agreement over the temporary status of the refugees in Tunisia and to discuss the recent disturbances in the camps that have raised concerns about the camp's security. We are also uh, tomorrow signing uh, an agreement of cooperation between UNHCR and the Tunisian government. And uh, we are establishing uh, with different uh, departments of the government uh, a very close cooperation uh, in order to make sure that uh, uh, refugee protection in Tunisia uh, becomes uh, uh, something done uh, even better. In the end of the visit, Antonio Guterres complimented Tunisia and its people for the assistance given in sheltering of over 500,000 and refugees that entered the country. Press TV asked Mr. Guterres if the camps can be sustained to shelter the refugees as the conflict rages on in Libya. We are pursuing, as I said, a solution of resettlement in third countries. Um, and we have already presented 1,000 individual requests for resettlement to different countries around the world. And we will go on until we, hopefully, uh, are able to fully solve the problem. The flow of refugees fleeing the war in Libya has put heavy strains on Tunisia's resources to shelter them. In his visit, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees had said that Tunisia is only a transition point for the many who have fled the Libyan conflict. In addition, he had pledged to speed up the repatriation of the refugees from the southern Tunisian border. Yet some analysts say that the situation is far from being short-term and unsustainable. Emil Khatib, Press TV, Tunis.